What's going on everybody? Today I'm in Amity, West Milan at Amity Crossing to check out Smarties. She has jerk pork, she has jerk chicken, but we're really here to check out a beef soup that she does on Saturdays. That I hear is done at old school way. There's also cow foot, there's sliced fish done to order, brown stew or fried. There's fried chicken and there's curry goat in there. I'm going to check out the soup, the beef soup, and I'm also going to check out that cow foot that I hear that they have in there. So we're in the kitchen and we're about to check out that pot of soup and it's a huge pot over there and I tell you just coming in here there are aromas that are coming out of the kitchen is ridiculous there's a grill right here roasting with some jerk chicken sitting in there and behind me is where they have this huge pot of beef soup. You familiar with the beef soup? Yes sir. Okay, go on. Nice. So hold on that pot was full earlier. Right here. All the way up to, the, the, top. Way to the top, and it, it finished now. Yes, it's finished now. That's how quick the beef soup got, but not even five o'clock yet. Because it's good, it it's good, very good. Yeah, well, we have to go check that out. But it looked very hearty, very nice. Just it looked like, like a yeah, old school man. type of beef soup, very like how my grandmother used to cook. Mm -hmm. And it tastes exactly as grandmother cooking. Yeah, it tastes like yeah. a that's a whole heap of expectation you are giving me, you know. A true man. No expectation, no disappointment, and you no just turn up your thing, you know. No disappointment. You just turn up your thing. Alright, you are going to eat one today? You want the best food, you can come to Smart Restaurant. Want the best food, so where you say we have to come? Smart? Smart Restaurant. Alright, smart. Smart is jerk. Smart is jerk. <laughs> Thank you, and what's your name? My name is Nakisha. Nakisha? Thank you. I'll try some of that soup this soon. Your birthday? Your birthday? It's my birthday. Bless up on your earth, strong man. Thank you don't know. Thank you. You're welcome. This is sweet and sour chicken. Wow, that looks good. I think I might have to try everything. Well, the cow foot is actually finished. Hold on, my cow foot finish? Yes. My one finish? Yeah, well, probably you can't get a small stir. I'll take a sample. <laughs> Well, else, Anything that is curry goat finished. is done. done. You see, I told you from outside you have to come early. Things tend to go quickly. Very, very quick. And fried very chicken, chicken is yeah. here. Yeah, man. That I forgot to soak up some of the things that you serve outside. Yes. <laughs> so you have stew pork as well. <laughs> this is a jerk chicken. Yes. That's sitting right here on our open open pan with coal right in there definitely yard style yeah man <laughs> smell it from your driving so um we are located in Amity Crossroad, mm. right at the crossroad. You can't miss it. Right across from Sergio's supermarket. Um, we've been established now for about eight years. And um, how we call to order if you do, you do. Yeah, call. Yes, we do. We do t um, calling orders. The number is nine five five. 5580. And your menu change day to day or is just every day we have different menus. So I hear Saturday is a beef soup. I hear Sunday is another big day as well. Yes, Sunday is a big day. Saturday is the great beef soup that we're, you know, people come out like every day. If you don't come early, come you're not drones. going to you're not going to get your beef soup. Yeah, the pot done already and it's yes, not even at very you, not late. Yes. It's, it's not even three three o'clock for three thirty. Well yes. Pot done. Yes, so um, we actually have different different dishes. We do from sweet and sour chicken, fried chicken, jerk chicken, jerk pork. We have cow foot and bean. We have cow moat. We have oxtail. We cow do moat? A, yes, we do cow moat. Like cow moat? Yeah, but like... How you cook that? Like we, we brown stew it. No, I'm going to come back for that. You I'm definitely that need to try it. It's a, it's a hot head. sell, yeah. Well, it's a head, you know, it's everything, but we just call it the okay. cow moat. All like, right, all right. Yes. <laughs> But um, it's a very, it's lovely, and um, we do 
comfort and being, which is a hot seller. Yeah, we have to try to have that, that every that day. Look like it's step out yes, of that place already. Like, like them early from gone. two o'clock, comfort is finished. This is the homemade jerk sauce. Yes, all natural spices are in it. That's the smartest special Smarty jerk sauce. special jerk sauce. Right? Yes. Holy pop pepper and enough pepper. Well, we don't make it too pepper because not. So sometimes we have a mild one and we have a very pepper one. All right. So this one mild or this pepper? This one is is mild. This one is not. The you have pepper, the pepper, pepper one for me? No, the pepper pepper one is finished. Every t let me tell you, you have to come out early. <laughs> very early. All right. Thank you. So at Smarties, I'm about to dive into some of this cow foot. You can see the fat that comes off of it and the meat as well, the slight amount of meat that comes off of it, but it's so tender, so flavorful that I can't wait to dive into this. It looks really well cooked down, like it's been cooking for a while. And it's literally just falling off of the bone. Look at that, there's the bone, there's the separation. The cow foot, you know this part of the foot is, it's almost like a, a meat that's been left behind but it has so much flavour just like oxtail and we enjoy it down here in Jamaica. You mix up some of that gravy with that rice and peas, let's get into it. This is some of that sweet and sour chicken. This is part of the Asian culture that's in Jamaica. I mean, we love our Asian cuisine and we're out of many one people and this has been a huge part of our culture so down here we're getting and there's pineapples as well with that sweet and sour chicken this is a stew pork that we saw in that pot that stew pork that's been bubbling and sitting there we have the cow foot we have the sweet and sour chicken and we have the stew pork that we're going to try here at smarties went into that cow foot and to me that fat that gelatinous fat is to me where all the flavor is and there's a piece of like lean on it as well Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's so juicy, so tender, so flavorful. The fat just gives you that bounce of gelatinous in it with that lean meat. And that meat has been soaked right through with flavor. The sauce or the gravy that is on it has been soaked right into that meat like it's been sitting there just marinating for days hours whatever it took but they really got it when they put that sauce on it oh my gosh that gravy i have to tell you about the gravy so this gravy is the cow foot gravy right here and the meat that is on it the lean parts the fat as well like this piece is full of flavor but the lean parts on that meat just have been soaked like they've been seasoned for days or weeks with how flavor has soaked into that meat. Fused and infused with natural ingredients, natural spices, you get a slight hint of heat, not any type of heat where you would be worried about giving serving to a child or anything like that, but it really just hums with a nice melody, nothing intense. So you, I would have to add pepper to this to basically bring it up to a spice level that I would give a warning for. But, I mean, with the rice and peas, I'm going to try that now, and a piece of fat. Mm, yeah, man. The fat just contains so much flavor. It's so, this is a word that you know often hear, but it's so pungent with flavor. It just really is pronounced and gives off that very nice flavor of what it was cooked in. Cow foot is something that takes a long time to cook. I mean, to have separation off of the bone like this. Cow foot, it takes a good while for you to get this to be able to separate like that. It's a very gelatinous, very meaty, not meaty, but very gelatinous with a lot of fat and a lot of, a lot of fat and very small amounts of meat. But that meat and that fat is immense flavor. I'm going to try that jerk pork. No, this isn't jerk pork actually, this is stew pork. Mm. Yeah, man. Hooked down right as well. Yeah, man, want the beef soup too. But the pork, wow, seasoned very well. 
I mean, the seasoning on it is right throughout every part of the meat. You're getting flavor right throughout. They are seasoning whatever they do to put into their stews or into the, the cow foot. It really is well seasoned, well soaked. There's a lot of flavor that comes off of it because like the cow foot, I'm getting something very close to the bone. Anything, and anything close to the bone is going to give you flavor. That bone once cooked down, and if you give it that slow process of just taking your time to cook it, that bone will give you immense flavor in any pot that you're stewing anything down in. And once you mix that up, you're getting a lot of natural flavors again. There's a lot of farms around this area as well, so you can imagine that they use a lot of fresh ingredients from the farms and basically giving you a lot of natural stuff in their stews. I mean, I can see some stuff that's coming off. You see some onions and some the usual Jamaican seasoning. Little onion, little scallion, little thyme, little garlic. Of course, scotch bonnet pepper. And once that cooks down, I use a natural flavor from the meat itself, from the bone, the fat, and even the lean to cook down in that pot. That flavor just soaks right through, hits it right to the bone, and it's pronounced right through. That's what we're looking for. There's a lot of Jamaican flavor in this. This is the Chinese or the sweet and sour chicken. The difference with this though is that it has a bone in there. I just went to juke it with the fork and the bone just hit right there. But it's cooked down in a pineapple sweet and sour sauce. And let's say we have a lot of Asian flavors, Asian infusion in food in Jamaica. Um, we have a huge Asian population which influences a whole heap of taste and, and basically foods that we have. Dim sum on Sunday is a thing in Jamaica, so is Chinese food on a whole scale. Mm. So tender. So tender. But different from a Chinese infused sweet and sour than you would expect. More Jamaican style sweet and sour. It has the, the sweet, it has a little bit of acid on it, maybe from vinegar or something that brings out that sour. And the pineapple is very pronounced because you can see the pineapple is soaked right through. But it's been fried and then cooked down. There's a batter on it that I'm tasting. And then it's been cooked down in that sauce after. Like you would have in some sweet and sour places where they basically give it a crisp batter, add some cornstarch to crisp it up. You're not getting a lot of crisp off of it. But you're getting a nice flavor from the sweet and sour, which is very, very Jamaican sweet and sour unique. Beef so this. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Undoubtedly this is what they said was very good down here. The beef soup very hearty, very thick. I mean, we're lucky to even get any because it sells out so quickly is what they say. Very hearty, very thick. And some noodles in there though. And beef right through. Good amount of peas, they don't shorty on the peas. And food as well in there, some yam, some carrots and some dumplings of course so this the beef soup i mean i'm a huge critic of beef soup because my grandmother had a small restaurant on the beach where she used to cook beef soup every saturday and people would come in drones so i know when beef soup is cooked on a saturday and it sells out once the pot is done it's done there's no appointment there's no calling in to reserve the order it's just you have to get there while it's being served I'm getting beef flavor, I'm getting pumpkin sweetness, I'm getting a lot of that peas that's in there as well. It's very hearty, very warm, very earthy as well. Yeah man, you can tell that it's been cooked down and basically thickened up with a lot of food or ground provision that's been in there. And the peas, the carrots, the warmth of having a soup like this is it and beef soup as well 
I mean, we don't roll after beef soup and I'm a fan of beef soup. I grew up with my grandmother cooking beef soup on Saturdays. That was almost religion. And that was what she did at her restaurant. That was probably one of her number one sellers, is Beach Barrel. From when I was young, I used to have to walk from school to this restaurant. And I remember people just coming for beef soup. But we cook it, we don't add any flavor into it. We use a bone and cook it straight through. This doesn't have a lot of pronounced beef flavor, but it's very warm, very hearty, very, very mellow. Very, very almost italish with beef in here. I forget some dumpling with that. Let me try a piece of that beef that's in the soup. It's shaking up like a gelatinous nice piece of beef, but it looks more lean than fat. Mm. Come on. That's been cooked down for hours. That beef literally melts away. Once you taste it, it literally just melts away. You get that intense flavor, you get those strands of beef that cut that's on the line and then it just literally melts right apart from it. Soup is so hot, it's almost like a meal unto itself. I mean, it's been cooked down almost till it's almost like a stew. That's how the, that's how the soup comes off. Thick meat, I mean carrots, food, yam, dumpling, all of that is in there and the peas itself. Lots of peas in there and nice chunks of meat that has been cooked down and really just falls apart when you taste it. Yam, potato, all of that, that's what's in there. That type of food, that's it. Saturday beef soup. These are some of the traditions in Jamaica that you look for. You hunt, you try to find it, look for a nice beef soup for somewhere off the beaten path. Head out there, check it out, support it, and see what I want. Thanks to Smarties, thanks to everybody. Big up on yourself as always, until next time. One love.